Who hasn't had a good idea come to them in the bath? I, for one, get lots of inspiration thinking about those challenges in my day to day. And in this case, my verge. I want to feed the plants the best possible fertiliser. And who better to help me than an army of worms? And where better to put them than in a bathtub? Look, all will reveal itself shortly, but what you're seeing here is just the bathtub upside down. And I did that for a reason, because sitting it on a table makes it much easier to build. Now, why did I choose an acrylic bathtub? Well, basically, to have this structure out on the street, one of the stipulations is it has to be mobile. If I used a cast iron one, I'd need four people every time I wanted to move it. The majority of the timber in the frame was an old futon. You can see the staples still there. And my bearers, I love the story behind these pieces here. They were part of an old church pew. So we've got a nice, a nice connection with the worm farming gods, I think. This sheltered spot on my south-facing wall is a perfect location. It's shaded and it won't get too hot. When putting your tub in place, it's critical that you check the level. You can build worm farms in lots of different containers, but the advantage of building it in a bathtub is that the base of the bathtub is purposely built to fall to the drain, so all of your worm juice will go out into a bucket underneath. I'm repurposing this nursery tray for the drainage layer. It gives me reasonable depth. It's firm enough to hold all the material above it. It allows the moisture to drain out and the air to suck up. I consider the next stage to be the most important because what it is is a separation layer. And it keeps the worms, all of the food scraps and the worm castings, all the good work that they've done munching it up, separate from the drainage layer. In this case, I've used some geofabric, but you can use any old bit of hessian or a little bit of shade cloth, and it will serve the same role. The next layer is this shredded newspaper. You could also use coconut fibre. Effectively, it's the worm's bedroom. This is where they come when they're not eating. I'm now adding a layer of compost and soil straight from my garden, and it's brimming with life to activate this whole thing. I've also thrown in a few handfuls of manure because that's another source of food for the new residents. Introducing the stars of the show, the worms themselves. Now, there's thousands of varieties of worms, but the best worms for your worm farm are actually tiger worms. You can buy them at your local nursery or garden centre, or alternatively, contact a specialist grower and they'll send them off to you in the post. Yes, worm post. And they will be jumping at the bit to get into your worm farm once they arrive. Look at them all in there. Look, they are happy. Welcome to your new home. Now, the soil in there has sand and grit in it, and that's what the worms use as their teeth to help grind everything that they eat and break it down. So I won't introduce any food to this, probably for a couple of days. Then they'll come up, start to break the food down, and the process will roll on from there. worm farm needs a lid for various purposes. First of all, it insulates it. It prevents the wind drying it out. It keeps the moisture in, but it also keeps the rain out as well, and animals. In this case, I dug up an old door that had been sitting in the garage for years. It'll serve that purpose. And look at that. It's got the old 70s door furniture on it. Doesn't get any better. So what are we doing this for? Two special things liquid gold in the form of worm juice or worm wee. When diluted in a watering can, it's a perfect fertiliser, and that will be on tap under there all the time. The second thing is the worm castings or worm poo. This is what the worms turn all those food scraps into. This is a perfect soil conditioner. 
and on my sandy soil, it'll improve the moisture holding capacity, it'll add nutrients, and it'll give the soil a much better structure. So what are you waiting for? Let's fight the war on waste. Build something out of secondhand materials and you can be a worm farmer.